Timothy, good having you here with us on the show. Uh, I want to start by asking you to really talk about the business. What does the knot do globally as well as in India? What are its businesses like? What can you tell us? So the knot worldwide is a global leader in the wedding industry. Uh, we have properties in 16 countries in the U.S., in Europe, um, Latin America, and, and of course India here. Um, the global wedding industry is about a $250 billion a year wedding industry. Uh, with India being about a $50 billion uh, per, per year wed industry. The business of weddings, not just weddings itself, have changed dramatically, one would say, post-COVID. How have new age businesses like yours, like Wedding Wire, really changed, been impacted uh, by and post-COVID? Ah, so yeah, COVID was, uh, we call it the largest pause button ever pressed in the wedding industry. And so obviously due to a lot of government restrictions, restrictions on travel, weddings were really hard to get done during the pandemic. Um, but that doesn't mean that people stopped getting married. They just couldn't actually do it at that time. And so what we saw coming out of COVID was 2022 on record, globally will probably be one of the biggest years that ever will have happened in weddings. Some of the trends that we're seeing coming out of COVID include um, more experiential focus on weddings. So what we remembered during COVID was how great it was to want to be with close friends and families to celebrate in life, you know, important life milestones and uh, really elevate that guest experience. And we're seeing that be one of the things that um, sticks through COVID. Another thing that we're seeing also is um, that Wedding guest sizes obviously came down during COVID. They're trending back up, but we do feel like wedding guest sizes are, um, you know, g generally a little bit smaller. People are really, though, holding their budgets, which means ultimately they're able to spend more per guest, and it's a really great um, experience, you know, for pulling off that big day. Would you say the wedding industry and market is returning to some sort of normalcy, if you can call it that? Any statistics, anything that you can show and point to? Yeah, so the wedding industry, um, we expect, again, 2022 was probably one of the most number of weddings that will happen on record. Um, in 2023, we expect a sort of return to normal in terms of number of weddings. Now, um, things that will continue um, trend-wise uh, will include uh, outdoor weddings. We feel like a lot of people discovered the beauty of outdoors and, and wanting to continue to keep that around as they think about wedding planning in 2023. Smaller guest sizes, generally speaking, um, were something that uh, sort of more intimate weddings were one of the outputs of COVID and people really um, will continue to think about that. Destination weddings is another trend coming out of COVID as well. And this return to normal in includes you know a little bit more experiential a little bit more travel in terms of uh creating that creating that special day that um that you know may may not may look a little bit different than it than, than it was before timothy has uh, the wedding market been impacted by inflation and if yes how so what can you tell us uh, inflation has impacted the wedding industry. Um, you know, the cost of goods has just gone up in general. So that might be, uh, you know, we've seen hotel prices just in general due to travel coming out of COVID increase. Um, the cost of labor, cost of um, food has increased. Um, in fact, some of our surveys indicate that vendors um, across our site in Wedding Wire India last year, um, revenues were up considerably. And that was both a result of uh, over demand, right? A, a lot of demand coming up from post COVID times, but also rising costs on the supplier side as well, which ultimately means that weddings got more expensive in 2022 and are continuing in 2023 that, that way as well. I want to talk trends at this point, Timothy. What global trends in the wedding market are perhaps gaining traction here? Uh, global wedding trends. So, um, definitely, this we're noticing um, in India right now that um, couples are taking a little bit more of a lead role in planning their wedding. And that's not to say the family's involvement is any less important, but in terms of couples' contribution into the financing of the wedding, we're seeing that become um, more popular. That's leading then to, to couples having a little bit more of a role to play in terms of the planning of the wedding itself, which is leading to you know, um, consideration on guest list sizes, what that experience is for guests as well, maybe consideration 
to destination weddings or something we're calling residential weddings right now that we're tracking where you might drive to somewhere closer by, almost like a staycation, but the wedding version where people can come together um, and still have that really unique once in a lifetime experience, maybe right outside the city, one or three hours away. Timothy, what's 2023 looking like for you at the company? Uh, so for us at the Not Worldwide here, again, we get the pleasure of seeing uh, weddings happen all over the world. Um, we obviously continue to focus very heavily on investing and innovating in our product and services. That includes you know, all-in-one planning tools for engaged couples that are planning their wedding. We want them to be able to come and have access to budgeting and checklists and wedding websites and all of the things that you would need to plan your big day. Number two, we can continue to focus on building our supplier base out. Ultimately, planning a wedding takes you know, a, a large number of an all-star team of vendors coming together to make that day special. We have over 70,000 vendors um, on Wedding Wire India, and we're going to continue to build out that base of suppliers in order to make sure that couples coming in can be matched to uh, the perfect vendor for their big day. I would just say my advice to entrepreneurs in general is be prepared for the roller coaster ride up and down. It's ne never an easy journey, but the prize at the end is very well worth it, and so just have resilience and optimism. So we're really proud of the growth that we've seen in Wedding Wire India. We founded the property in 2017, and over that time, we've grown the property considerably. Um, you know, we've had over 21% growth in our couples registering our site year over year. We have over 70,000 vendors uh, listed in our platform today on Wedding Wire India, and that number keeps growing as well. We're really, really focused on bringing the best venues and photographers, makeup artists, and all the other categories online, ultimately to help them connect with all the engaged couples that are seeking their services today. Timothy, good having you with us on the show. Let's uh, wrap it here as we've run out of time on this segment. I'm going to slip into a short commercial break. For those of you watching at home, we are back in just a moment. Just stay tuned.